Hello there, it's Audrey with Movies and the Bible, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Lost City. Okay, so Lost City starring Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum, and Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, let's get into it. So, as always, for these movie reviews, it's either going to be a skip it, stream it, matinee price, or go watch it. And this movie, um, as we saw in the trailer, well, uh, it's a date night movie. And I gotta say that it that is essentially what we saw in the trailer. A, a romance novelist, um, uh, swept off into an adventure uh, with her cover model and, you know, shenanigans and the uh, ensue. And this movie is essentially the proposal repackaged. Uh, just a different premise, but it's like the, it's, it really does remind me of uh, the proposal. The characters, like Sandra, Sandra is uh, playing yet again, you know, her her standard character that she plays, the hardened, the hardened woman, um, uh, fear of trying new things type of woman. Uh, so Sandra's character does go through that that trope of life altering event, you know, um, changes your her outlook and perspective on life. She overcomes some of the grief that she's been carrying, um, making her that hardened person, making her afraid to change. And but I really don't feel as though in this particular movie that her character earns it um and she moves she earns the right to move on with her life but as far as the romance element and falling in love again um uh literally at the uh, ends of the movie i don't feel as though that was earned but i do respect the fact that it, it was okay she's she's decided to move on with her life so let's start this romance so i get it i just didn't feel as though it was earned uh, Channing is there to be the uh, the the love interest, the eye candy of the film, and Daniel Radcliffe, uh, the villain. Which uh, he wasn't he wasn't given a lot to to do or work with. I mean, I think you could have inserted any 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 actor into Daniel's uh, role, and they would have been a serviceable villain. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to segue into the. Uh, the writing of this film and i think that's what hurts it some of the jokes land some of them don't they they you know poke fun at the romance genre and the uh and the uh, romance novel genre uh in and of itself and poke fun at that so you know the film doesn't take itself too seriously which is fine it's just i, I feel as though there were some mis missteps in the writing um, the pacing was fine for the movie as well. Um, quickly, uh, Brad Brad Pitt, um, he's he is in the film. He has he has what maybe ten minutes in the film, but it was one of the better parts and the more funnier parts of the film. And yeah, um, this movie is going to be a stream it. Um, there's there's no real reason to go out and and see this movie for me personally, unless you're doing like a day, date night. But this is a streaming. Wait for a streaming. And Proposal is a better film if you're wanting something like that. Um, but that's all I have for this one. I will see you in the next one. Let me know what you thought about the movie down below. And be safe, be kind, be wise. Bye-bye.